Hey sweeties, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mrs. Ashley and today we are going straight into Fat Girl Friday. Happy Fat Girl Friday to you guys. I am a fat girl and I'm proud. I'm proud to be a fat girl. Um, I am on my journey to a healthy lifestyle, but that doesn't mean I can't be, you know, a fat girl as well. Like, I will always be a fat girl. <laughs> like my husband would always say, he would always be a fat child or fat kid in the inside because he loves brownies, he loves jerky, he loves he loves all kinds of food, but he's just in a skinny, skinny body, but he is a fat kid on the inside. And let's just embrace that, that being a fat girl is what is all the rage right now. Um, being size inclusive is all the rage right now. To be included into a brand is all the rage right now. So if you guys like these type of videos, then hit that subscribe button. What are you waiting for? And hit that bell to be notified of all my future videos. Okay? <laughs> go right into our fashion companies fat girl friendly and I'm gonna go in three different price points the cheapest you know mid cheap affordability and then obviously the most expensive designer bougie thing you could buy um, probably not the thing <laughs> you know not not to take this series not just in my room but I will be going back out there to inside the dressing rooms um, to test if companies are being, you know, are saying what they are saying, that they're being inclusive, that they're including people. Um, influencers and YouTubers are throwing it out there. You know, can I fit into this? If I can't, what are you doing? Oh so, yeah, so this is what, that's what we're gonna get into. If you want to know, more about this video then just keep on watching and if not then just click off and write your comment down below um what you find which companies that i didn't mention today that are actually fat girl friendly and i will definitely mention your guys's beautiful comments on the next fat girl friendly um video which will be next week on the friday and um i'll mention it at the end of the video whoever that may be who catches my so now getting into the first one so each each topic or each price point I will have two different companies to mention um, so for the cheaper items I do believe that forever 21 does do a really good job at their plus sizes um, however and their price point is pretty on the cheap side. However, Forever 21, as like it says in the title of their um, store, or their brand, Forever 21 is usually catered to the younger or more younger generation than opposed to me, which is like above 30. With that said, I did find another company that is also fat girl friendly, that's on the cheap side. And that is Shein. I have not personally bought from Shein, but I've seen a lot of reviews here on YouTube. Um, and they, and I've even, like, the biggest one I've seen was Loie Lane. She's a big girl. And she is repping Shein products. And I, I've heard negative and positives about Shein. Um, you do want to look at the reviews before purchasing because some items could be has stretch and not, and they're really good about saying that this item has stretch this one has no stretch so when you're looking or even buying online you want to look at those reviews if there are reviews it says true to size then pick the size that is closest to you um, make sure you are looking at the measurements as well um, but I believe Shein does go up to about a 5X, if I'm not mistaken. And that is a huge, huge win. Um, that is being size inclusive, guys. That is, when you're when you're down to an extra small and you can buy something all the way up to a 24, um, roughly, 
then you can then you can say that that company is being inclusive and being right on the money as um, being a uh, fat girl friendly. So thumbs up for both of those companies that I've researched. Um, I do want to buy from Shein. Let me know in the comments down below if I should buy from Shein. Shein. Is mid two dollar signs, like a little bit more money. Um, and these are also companies that have been on my feed and also been repped really well by influencers and everything like that. I have um seen i wanted to say nasty gal because they are running from zero to 20 on their site um but i want to change that to boohoo because i actually shop boohoo and i was so impressed with their quality their um they when they're creating quality clothes for bigger people they don't skimp on the fabric. They don't skimp on what it should look like. They give you what it's gonna look like in a bigger size. Um, so I've gotten great pieces in the past. If you haven't seen my Boohoo haul, you can definitely should, I'll put it up here or wherever the I card may be. And you guys can see my Boohoo haul. I will be shopping from Boohoo again because I love them so, so much. Um, I actually did not research how big they go, but I'm pretty sure they go get pretty big. I, I want to say they at least go up to a 3x. So Boohoo, if you're interested in, um, if you're interested in buying from Boohoo and you like that style, that girl approved. <laughs> the next one I want to say is they just became. A little bit of fat girl friendly they did not take it to every item yet in their online store but I have seen American Eagle jeans go from a double zero all the way up to a 24 and they are they this is like massive like I can't believe they're doing this because I've always when I was growing up, um, when I was in high school, my cousin, she's naturally skinny, naturally beautiful like that, you know, and I never thought that I was that beautiful in that way. And I was actually a lot smaller than I am now. And looking back, it was so stupid um, of me to, to feel not included with the cool preppy kids to buy American Eagle clothing. Um, so I was taken aback. I was like, well, if I'm not going to be included, then I'm not going to buy from them. And now that they, now that I've seen double zero all the way up to 24 and I want to try them out because you're, you know, your shorty wants to go out and try the product as well I was just I was just blown away that they would go all the way up to a 24 in their jeans now let's try to get them on the right path with their dresses and skirts and shorts and everything like that then they would be perfect um but right now they are on the down low about being size inclusive but you heard it from me that their jeans go all the way up to a 24 which is amazing price points on these next two they're more department stores um and it's the two that i could think about and i in this category i'm rating them the best to buy from and the worst to buy from um only because they were very inconsistent it was a department store so it's not an actual brand i could hardly find any like designer clothing that would be like i don't know it was just i haven't seen it yet and maybe i haven't looked hard enough but my research on the two highest price point which was macy's and nordstrom's macy if you type in their website um plus sizes you will get brands 
that are plus sizes in the department store online. And they will tell you if it's online only or if you could shop it in the store. Um, and some of them were like, surprisingly, I've seen Michael Kors be, um, you know, fat girl friendly. And I've seen, I think I want to say Ann Taylor, probably not scratch that. So I've seen a lot of designer um, brands in Macy's that are offering the plus size option and it's great. You could shop plus size and they'll show you what it looks like if you want to buy it, if you don't want to buy it, you know what I mean? Um, and when I did the same for Nordstrom's, they were not as, um, they weren't, they weren't as great on it. We all know Nordstrom has high designer clothing and um, for them to not include bigger sizes. So I did find their plus size section after all, but there was not a whole lot of selection and if there was, they were on sale. It's really upsetting to see. Like you type in plus size, you get like measly, like nothing. Like no brands carry, <laughs> No brands carry bigger than an 18, which I am an 18 women from, you know, um, and sometimes a 16, depending if I could get it in the petite 16s, but it's like really, really depressing that you cannot buy, um, high end fashion, like you can't buy fashion, but with the with the other companies that are fat girl friendly, it is so good to see a change in these companies if they're just now doing it. And it is amazing. I applaud, like, I applaud Nike for doing the model justice. Like, fat girl approved. <laughs> like, it was so beautiful. I follow... Um, what's your name? Diana. She's a supermodel for bigger girls and she is She is rocking it. She's doing everything. It was a really symbolic day to wear this chic NYC shirt Yes, it's a large. Yes, that's their biggest size um, but it did open my eyes up that fashion Needs to be size inclusive because everybody is beautiful in their own way. My hashtag you can use on my Instagram is hashtag discover your beauty um, with the heart emoji. If you guys put that in your um, description or if you guys are showcasing your bodies um, in a picture on Instagram, tag me in it in hashtag discover your beauty with two hearts or a or one heart and I'll look you up and I will definitely go ahead and comment your pictures and give you support and love and all the rainbows of joy that I can to you guys. I support curvy girls. I support fat girl and be fat girl friendly. <laughs> and also, I hope you guys are liking these series. I really really want it you to enjoy and learn something that maybe you haven't learned yet and I challenge you guys to you know to step out of your comfort zone and just open your mind up to better horizons and I'll see you guys on motivational Monday like always stay super sweet